Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venomman20 here tonight. Tonight we're going to be looking at a pretty awesome little viper. These guys are not commonly kept in captivity, although they are pretty common in the wild. We're going to be looking at Trimaceris panaceus, also known as the ashy pit viper, more commonly known as the flat nose viper, and it's also known as the habu, which pretty much every Asian viper is referred to as that. Hence the reason why I normally use the scientific names. But we have a couple of these to go through, so let's go ahead and take a look. All venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. So this guy is actually sitting us at a very weird location. This is a male, and he's sitting up on top of this branch. It's not typical for these. Uh, they kind of look like an arboreal viper, but they're only semi-arboreal. They will climb if need be, but for the most part, they're pretty much completely terrestrial. They'll live down into the leaf litter, which is kind of interesting. But I think one of the main reasons these are not commonly kept in the pet trade is because number one, they're not outstanding. Most arboreal vipers are really, really pretty. These guys aren't that pretty. Not only that, they have a really crappy attitude. They typically just strike a lot compared to a lot of other arboreal vipers. Come here, little guy, get your tail unwrapped. It's okay. They hate it when you touch their tail. That's exactly what I'm doing. But anyway, this guy is pretty neat. So these guys are actually found throughout southern Thailand, west and east Malaysia, Indonesia, Borneo, Sumatra, uh, part of Java. These guys are pretty common. And within their range, they actually tend to cause a lot of snake bites. So these guys are nothing to be taken lightly. So like I said earlier, these guys are sexually dimorphic. Uh, females get much larger than males. I remember one time I seen a female and I was just figured that these guys stay about this size. And then I seen a female that was huge. I mean, huge. She was like, it doesn't sound big, bear with me. Uh, she was like 24, 25 inches, maybe a little bit bigger. She could be up to like 30 inches, but the thickness, the girth of that animal was just insane. The females are much larger. I mean, in all seriousness, she was a big snake. She was like as thick as a bull snake. It's pretty impressive as far as vipers go. But this guy's being very good. Uh, typically, they are quite snappy. But I do have a couple females I wanna show you. Uh, like I said, they're sexually dimorphic in size, but not only that, in color. Some of the females are just gorgeous. Almost all males look like this. This is actually a pretty male. So uh, let's go ahead and check out them females. So it's been years since I've been behind the camera, so bear with me here. But uh, these guys, there should be two females in here. When I say should, I know there is, but they are very hard to find. Most of the time, they're underneath this log. But like I said, they're snappy, so I gotta kind of be careful what I'm doing. I don't want one of them to bite the other one. But at the same time, I haven't seen one female in a couple weeks. This one, the first one I'm hooking out, so I would like to make sure she's doing okay. Hey, sweetheart, she's super light complected. There she is. She is a gorgeous animal. I like her a lot. She is pretty. And then the other female is a little red. We'll go ahead and check her out. Now normally, if I was to reach into an arboreal cage like this with a hook, I would spray first to kind of calm the snake down, give them that, hey, I'm here to just hook you out, spray you, everything's okay, I'm not gonna feed you, you know, don't, don't go crazy. But these guys hate being sprayed. They are high humidity snakes, but they do not enjoy it. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, I just felt a snake. I know there's a snake under there. You want to go up the back side, sweetheart? Where are you? Pretty sure I've seen you under there. Maybe not. Let's look over here to the side. Make sure she's not hiding inside the sleep litter. So we'll end up spraying these guys before I close up the enclosure. And I don't want you to think that this is a full grown individual because it's not. They get bigger than this. But these are okay sized females. So these are also referred to as a Siamese palm pit viper, which is pretty cool. They have many names. She is not underneath that log. OK, 
Okay, let's see. Found her. There she is, right back there inside that corner. Let's see if we can't get close up of that. So she is sitting there coiled up in ambush mode. Let's see if I can get her to come out without being a little butt. That'd be nice. Woo! Like I said, she has some nicer red on her. Very beautiful animal. Come here, sweetheart. It's okay. They can be snappy, like I said. So I don't want two snakes to be snappy while they're right beside each other like that. So we gotta be careful how much we poke and prod. Sorry for shaking you guys up so much. I want to try to get the best take possible. My camera's been having a little bit of problems focusing. So I'm battling that as we speak. There she is, just looking gorgeous. Look at that beautiful body on her. She is a gorgeous animal. I love that red. She's just pretty. <laughs> So I got the two females in here together. I got the two males separate. Um, just got another big female. I might end up getting rid of this whiter female and keeping the bigger white female just because she's more outstanding. Um, there's really no point in me having four of them, or I shouldn't say four, six of them. So uh, I know one of the males is probably gonna be shipped off. And then probably this girl right here. I have a guy that's interested, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I will show you the bigger female here pretty soon. One last thing while you guys are here, let's go ahead and give them a gentle misting and see if they can enjoy it this time. I won't miss them that hard. We'll get all that pressure off just by spraying the side of the cage. Just building up the humidity. Can I spray you guys? challenge keeping up with these guys, I'll be downright honest. To the white female, she's getting a drink. Yeah, she seems to be enjoying it. She hasn't came out from underneath that log that I've seen. I mean, she could be coming out at night. It's very easily and quite, quite possible. That she has been and I just haven't seen her just trying to get that humidity up make sure we don't have any stuck sheds make sure everybody's hydrated it's very important so hopefully you guys enjoyed that I don't know if you've seen on that last clip her head's actually like see-through as she was getting a drink with that light right above her that was pretty cool. Seeing a sort of venom gland like that, it's pretty interesting. But anyway, the next probably three days, I'm gonna have some pretty interesting videos, or at least what I think are pretty interesting. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those. I hope you guys had a wonderful and safe holiday. Uh, as always, I'm a little bit behind on my Flying Viper series. I just want that last video to be perfect. It's a hard animal to film, so I've been working on that, trying to figure out how I'm gonna keep her in focus the entire time I'm filming her. So anyway, uh, hopefully you're patient with that. Sorry about that again. 
Not only that, I also have another Q&A coming out because you guys got like 230 some odd likes. I only asked for 200 and you guys nailed it, knocked that one out of the park. So we're going to do that sometime this weekend. But anyway, yet again, stay safe in your travels. Thank you for checking this out. Show all your friends. Y'all have a wonderful night.